Hey, Frank, this is Brandon. I uh, talked to Junior this morning. He said you'd probably be the one watching this. Uh, just a short custom video I made for you guys to help you out, bring in some more business. I'm going to go over three things that you're hopefully going to be able to do right from the office there, make some changes and, uh, and see some results. The three things I'm going to go over are website content and keywords. Second thing is going to be uh, citations. And the last thing is going to be backlinks with referring domains. Uh, I go over these three things because they are three things that are simple enough for people to do right in the office. And uh, they're also three pretty big things that Google looks at as far as how they place people in these searches. So first thing they look at is uh, website content. Uh, they like to see at least 1500 words of content on your homepage. So just by adding, uh, you know, some more content in here is going to do you a lot of good. Big thing to remember is inside this content, they're looking for keywords. And what I mean by keywords, and the best way I can describe it is put yourself in your potential customer's shoes. What is it that they're typing into that um, Google search bar that's going to ultimately get Google to point that person uh, to your website? So if we're focusing on roof replacement or masonry uh, or stucco, um, you know, I always say add a service area in that you're looking to do business in. So if your main focus is Albuquerque, I would have, you know, stucco repair Albuquerque in there. Um, roof, repra roof replacement Albuquerque, uh, concrete work Albuquerque, interior painting Albuquerque, all those things, um, you know, bunched in there with the service area. And it's a lot easier to, to focus on keywords and, and stuff more of them if you have more content to do it with. So more content, more keywords, hopefully that uh, makes sense. Second thing I talk about is, uh, you know, how to get ranked, you know, top of the page here, um, page one of Google for, for keywords. Um, obviously, we know being on the first page is, you know, essential. Uh, if you did a search like this, roof replacement Albuquerque, you're going to see the first thing on here is people paying, you know, to be at the top because they know there's value in it. Um, so that's the first way you can get on the first page. The second way you can do it is by being in this map pack. Okay. To get into this map pack, um, you need to have citations. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing you're going to need to do, if you haven't done so already, is create a Google business profile. All right. It's free to do so. Um, Google just verifies that you're a legitimate business. Once they give you the verification, you're just going to take the same information you gave Google and you're going to get yourself in every directory possible. So you're going to take your business name, address, and phone number, and you're going to get into Angie's List, Yelp, Home Advisor, Thumbtack, Yellow Pages, every social media profile. With that exact information, every time you do that, you're going to get a citation. And whoever has the most citations ends up in this map pack. So something simple you can do, just go shout from the rooftops, let everybody know that you have a business, um, and you'll find yourself, you know, in the map pack. The third way you can get on here is to be ranked organically with your website. To do that, that's going to be a culmination of all your website content, the keywords you have in there, uh, making sure the pictures are tagged correctly, uh, meta tags, things like that. And it comes down to... Uh, backlinks and referring domains um, we take a look at a refs here it's a tool that i use uh, there is a monthly fee to use it but um, you can certainly go ahead and, and, and use it uh, and it shows you everything that's going on with your website it's going to break down how many backlinks you have what referring domains are coming coming from how many organic keywords you are getting picked up for and how much traffic is coming to your website monthly so we look at this we want to make sure we have a bunch of backlinks uh, but more importantly we want to make sure that those backlinks are coming from good, powerful referring domains. And what I mean by that is um, we want to make sure that the backlinks we have out there are in relevant to your business, relevant to your customers areas. Okay. So first thing is a backlink. The only, you know, what is that? It's, it's just a link out there uh, on the web that if somebody clicks on it, it's going to bring them back to your website. So you can have these out on other people's websites. You can have them out on blogs, reviews, comments, social media platforms, anywhere you have a link uh, is considered a backlink. But like I said, just make sure they're in areas that are relevant to your business. And then once again, organic keywords. Um, I could click on this and see how many, you know, what keywords you're actually getting found for. We want to make sure that the keywords are being found for are good buyer intent uh, keywords. And ultimately the uh, 171 people a month coming to your website. So I just go back to that uh, search that I did. Um, you know, just one of your niches, roof replacement, Albuquerque, and I grabbed this right way. Uh, and I stuck him into Arabs just so you can kind of see. Um, he's actually got a third of the backlinks that you do, but he's got more referring domains. Um, so this is coming back to if we don't have, you know, good quality referring domains and just stuff a bunch of backlinks out there in irrelevant places, Google actually dings us. Uh, so we want to make sure that, you know, you maybe clean your backlinks up, go through them, take the ones out that are not necessary. Um, but ultimately you look at this and he's got over 500 people a month coming to his website uh, for roofing in Albuquerque. So an opportunity to put more keywords in there, more content, and you can certainly capture this roofing business. And that, 
you know, this information kind of goes for everything that you're trying to accomplish. So don't even, you know, don't just do it for roofing, uh, but do it for every niche that you're, you know, trying to take advantage of. Also notice when I looked at some of your stuff, like if I go to concrete work, um, painting comes up uh, for whatever reason, the concrete, you know, tutorial doesn't come up. Maybe you don't do concrete anymore. And then another tidbit of information you can do is if I go to save this image, you see how the image is saved as exterior painting. Every picture is an opportunity to save um, with keywords. So I would have exterior painting Albuquerque or Albuquerque exterior painting. That's just another keyword phrase that Google crawls all these pictures for um, and some extra you can get noticed. Uh, <clears throat> so all in all, just make a few changes, more content, more keywords, shout from the rooftops, go out there and get your citations so you can get in the map pack, clean your backlinks up, uh, maybe get a, get a couple more uh, in certain niches and uh, you're going to see some pretty good results. So uh, once again, the only thing I'm looking for, um, you know, is just feedback on this video. Make sure that uh, I'm, I'm providing some value and not wasting wasting people's time. So if you could just give me a line of feedback, let me know how this was. If you were able to implement some of this stuff, I'd appreciate it. Thanks.